everybody. I'm at my shop this morning and I'm going to be taking care of some of my yard tools, doing a little maintenance. And I thought I'd invite you along to kind of show you how I sharpen a garden hoe. This hoe here is particularly my favorite. I like a, a, a wide plate on a hoe. I like to be able to work a lot of ground and, and I love it to be very sharp. Uh, so let me kind of show you around and uh, show you how I do it. First thing I'm going to get is this uh, bastard file. This is a, a pretty coarse here, uh, but that's the first thing I'm going to use. And the second thing is this puck sharpener. Uh, this is really handy when you're sharpening uh, an axe or a, a garden hoe, anything that uh, that you've got to sharpen that uh, that might use this kind of application. It makes it really handy. Yeah, I've got the hoe here in a, just a simple vise. It's got wood on the inside of the vise to keep from marking my handle. I'm definitely going to put gloves on while I do this. I've cut myself one too many times sharpening stuff this way. But basically, I'm going to take the file and I'm going to find the right angle. The purpose of this is to get the nicks where I might have hit a rock or a root or something that, that nicked the, the blade here. I'm going to try to get those nicks out of here. And I'm just going to take it gently across the back, parallel with the hoe, just to get anything back there. Last thing I'm going to do here to the blades, I'm going to take this puck sharpener, use the coarse side first, and then find that angle. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it over to the fine side. See how sharp it is. That's pretty sharp for a garden hoe. Next thing is I'm going to get some uh, lubricant and some boiled linseed oil for the handle. Next thing I'm just going to take this lubricant trying to get me a layer of protection on that metal and then just gently wipe it off. I'm trying to leave a layer on there. The last thing I'm going to do is use this bowl of linseed oil. Use it on the wood. What that does is it protects that wood by not letting it dry out. So this particular garden hoe here is a couple years old now. And uh, if I take care of it like that, I think this will probably last my lifetime. Uh, I do this about once a month or when I feel necessary to do it. Uh, our soil has been really wet and uh, I've had to take some extra caution taking care of my tools. But anyways, guys, I hope you might have learned something, and I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you all later.